All right, guys, how's it going? Um, I didn't realize that last video was going to be so stir up so, so much controversy or whatever. Um, I'm not brand biased. I, I like Echo. I like Steel. I like Husqvarna. Even like some Polans. Um, what I use this this saw for? I mean, this saw retails for what is it like fourteen hundred bucks? Um, so you you have to I'm gonna set you guys down here. You guys have to like a saw in order to spend that kind of money. You know, and have enough faith in a company to to, to drop that kind of coin on a saw like this. This saw is not ported. It's it's all OE. It's it's never been molested. It's bone stock out of the box. And I use this saw as a baseline on a lot of my builds. Um, I'm striving for this kind of power and, and cut speed and all that. And if I exceed it, then that's that's even better. But this saw is a baseline. I'm not saying I don't like it. I cut with the saw. I use it. Um, it's an excellent saw. Um, probably the closest feeling to a ported saw out of the box I've ever felt. Um, there is a few things that you know could be worked upon. I, I believe it could get a better air filter system. Um, I'm not quite understanding why it eats gas the way it does. It, it really drinks fuel. Um, on long bars, the spring mounts are kind of springy on it. Um, but as far as fuel and power and cut speed and all that, it's, it's a great saw. Um, but this is also a great saw as well at you know this retails they're right around 800 bucks i think i think if they're on their specials or whatever you can get them 15 percent cheaper or whatever but um stock this saw it, it can't touch the 500 i know i've had i've got two of these i've got one 500 and the the 500s will completely blow these out of the water stock stock for stock there's there's no denying it I, you know um but I had to do a lot of machine work and porting to get this saw on the 500's level, if not maybe slightly above it. It's it's nothing to do with, with brands. I'm using that 500 as a baseline because there's a lot of people that have cut with these, that ran them, that own them. They know what this saw is capable of. It's a very strong saw. So I use it as a baseline, um, as what I'm, it, it is, you know, there's no hatred or, or nothing. I'm, you know, I, I'm just a redneck that enjoys the YouTube community. Um, I enjoy porting on saws. Um, I try to help other porters out. I talk to a lot of other porters, um, sometimes through email or, or that facebook or messenger or whatever but the, the you know i'm not the best i don't don't claim to be the best um but i'm probably not the worst if that makes sense um i, I won't ever bash another builder there's so many different ways to build the saw it's unreal um and how i build the saw might not be suitable for someone else how they build a saw it, it, it all depends on the type of wood that you're cutting it, there, there's so many variables in it i just i build the saws the way i think they need to be built with what i know and learned and i'm constantly evolving um i don't port the same way i did six years ago that that's for sure it it, it you know I'm, I'm constantly changing um find something that works a little better you, you know port shapes I, I i dabble and experiment in a little bit of everything so it it's it's not nothing brand bias guys it uh i love the 500 i love the 7310 i love my 395 um so you know and i love you know i got a 261 that's ported too that little 50 cc saw i love that saw too it, it uh i mean that one when I did that one, I kind of did a like a crown top dome dome piston in that that build. That it, it, uh, I don't I don't know a little 
one-off build I did on that thing. It, it, it pulls chain really good. Um, very comfortable to cut with. Um, but and then everybody knows I love 4910s and 501s as well. I am amazed at what some saws, you could do the same port job to one saw and do the same port job to another saw and it's unreal the gain differences. I've still not quite figured out what what's happening there. Um, but I just just thought I'd make this quick video, me rambling on. Um, there's there's no brand bias. Uh, you know, this this is a fabulous saw. Um, and if you've got the money to get one, buy one. They're they're sweet. At uh, you know, but if 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 you want good power and and you're you know shy on funds, there's plenty of other brand options out there. I mean, there's even like in the aftermarket world, if you don't mind tinkering and and having to work on your saws, there's some incredible deals on some pretty strong out of the box aftermarket saws as well so but um i mean oh well, you guys uh enjoy the rest of your day at uh sorry about me rambling on have a good one